Every day, Rob Naylor dreams up, brews, and drinks new types of beer. He gets paid to do it, too. He's a brewmaster at the research pilot brewery of beer giant Anheuser-Busch. How much of your day do you spend drinking beer? <laughs> Just a small amount. We don't call it drinking, we're tasting. When you're developing these, are you looking at them based on what you taste with your taste buds, or is a lot of it algorithms and the chemistry behind all this? It's a little bit of both. It's not like we're in a lab mixing different potions. We're definitely looking for an aroma and a flavor that we taste, and that's why we taste our beer. But we also are looking analytically. Rob experiments with all types of ingredients to come up with innovative flavors, from adding fruit during the brewing process to smoking the grains. To get your inspiration, do you cut open a grapefruit and say, oh, that would make a great beer? I see inspiration in, in different ways. You see it in some of the foods that you'll eat. One of the beers we're tasting right now would be a mesquite smoke. So, you know, St. Louis, we've got our smoke barbecue. Um, so that was something that inspired me. So you get that sweetness from the malt, you get a little bit of the bitterness that the hops would add, but this is really trying to focus on the, that smoke note and the aroma and then a little bit in the taste. To me, it's very subtle. You can only taste a hint of the yes. mesquite. And that's really what I was really looking for for this one. Next one? All right, our next beer is a cranberry sour. And it's actual cranberries in it. This. Yes. It smells like a grape juice to me a little bit. You'll get a little bit of that cranberry note much more of a cider taste to me. Where did you get the inspiration for cranberry flavor at the Thanksgiving dinner table? <laughs> I wish I could say that. We were really just looking for a way to get that tartness and that sourness um, using a different fruit. Everybody's so jealous of your job, <laughs> man. All right, what's the next one? So then the next one will give you more of a, a passion fruit aroma. You can actually smell the passion fruit. That's really, really intense. You can tell it's oh, I like that. Is there actual passion fruit there in there? There is no uh, passion fruit in here. None? No, it's just malt, uh, yeast, hops, and water. So uh, how does it get that passion fruit taste? I mean, I can almost feel like I'm biting into a passion <laughs> fruit. It's all from the hops. Don't expect to grab this passion fruit cold one anytime soon, though. Most of Rob's concoctions never hit the market. And do you ever taste when I think, God, this has to be the one that Anheuser-Busch, you know, brings to the people? I would hope that I can come up with some of the recipes that uh, we can get out there, but uh, really what I'm trying to do right now is combine the, the learnings that we have from understanding the raw materials, the different beer styles, and then trying to create a, a different beer that's out there. What's it like drinking beer for a living? <laughs> I have fun, but again, we're tasting beer. We take it very seriously. And how much beer do you consume on an average day? It's very minimal. Uh, maybe a one beer at, at the most. And you really have to take a breathalyzer and then whenever you leave the office? Yes, and make sure everybody's okay to drive home.